Hello guys, here I am and it is with me a pleasure that I'm gonna be introducing you the Easy Road Generation version 1.1 right? That's the new Easy Road Generation uh, basically it's the same thing as before like we still have the divisions going on we still have the lamp lights on, off, the lights on and off. Let me show you here. We still have the lights going on and off. Look at this. Basically that's a little adding that I did for this version was the volumetrics on the lights so now if you turn it on you have a couple of volumetrics in your lights right just in case you want to add some uh, visual more appealing effects to your scenes right so you have some uh, some uh, those are actually fake Volumetrics, those are not really volumetrics, so uh, it's it's supposed it, it shouldn't uh, take that long to render to your machine, right? Uh, but let's remove these volumetrics for now. The lights, no, remove it as well. So, but the main update for this version is. Uh, the possibility to move the curves up and down because the previous version you had the possibility of uh, model as you want right quickly here right and but everything would be flat right but now you can move it your curve up and down right everything will follow perfectly and you still will have all your tools like working pretty well like for example the divisions you may ask like how about the divisions you turn it on and voila everything is still working pretty well and stable uh, just keep one thing on mind that for the lanes this update requires us to have the lanes up way above to the road right because they are going to be basically projected to the road you see the lanes are here if you turn it off the modifier you will see the lanes are way above just make sure that the lanes are above the road and when you turn it off on, everything will be on place okay all right that should be one of the main updates the other main update is uh, let me show you here the other main update is uh, terrain project if you see the easy road structure is here right so those easy road assets it should be off all the time you don't you don't want to mess around with this folder because this folder is what make it possible everything happens otherwise you can have problems on your road right so just leave it this folder here and you have your lanes you have the road which is this one and you have your terrain which is this plane over here right so what you have to do if you see it's just a plane with a uh, couple subdivisions level the subdivisions level on this plane has to be added on based on this geometry node right because it's the way that I had created and the way it make it possible like the operation that you will see it has to be this way right so if you want to subdivide the terrain just subdivide it by here okay or you go in your mesh and subdivide it here 
in your mesh right you can change your mesh in edit mode the way you want and that will be fine or here okay but the main tool and I think you're gonna love that is this like T-Ring project if you turn it zero so basically the road will be projecting in your terrain and it will make a hole and that will basically avoid the the road to be trespassed by the terrain at any moment okay so that's very useful for art piece because in art piece uh, we know we have to have we have to deal with terrains all the time and that's that can be very painful even if you can control the road it will be very painful to kind of try to match the road here for example you can still try to take your road down right and try to match the terrain but you have those problems right but not now with uh, the terrain projection that is just for those kind of situations and the last thing that i'm going to show you is how to add your own terrain and make the road follow that right the road is blocked here for the for the transformation of the road is blocked here so this means that you cannot move your road around unless you are in edit mode in edit mode you can move your road for anywhere you want right so just be aware of that okay and for the terrain the only thing you have to do when you want to add your terrain your personal terrain is like let's add let's add just this uh, landscape here just to see how it works from theory to the practical thing Okay, let's do more or less something like maybe like this. Okay, maybe something like this. Right. So let's say you want this to be your terrain. Let's make this guy a bit bigger. Or let's just get part of this terrain delete the rest I just want to show you a part of it okay okay let's see that's your terrain all right so let's model this road a bit more just to show you the possibilities your terrain to be uh, to be settled with the road you just need to select your uh, personal terrain select this terrain and press ctrl G so you automatically join the meshes all right so now that you are joining the meshes I will bring this guy down Now that you have your mess joined, you can go to your road and then here you can project the road in your terrain. So everything will work just fine as you expect. If you go down here, is a hole. So you see everything is pretty smooth, right? You go to render, you see everything is fine. You have your road and have everything working as you just expect okay that's it i hope you enjoy it and keep up to date because that will be available on golden road and at blender market and if you get it now you have all the future updates free forever right see you